So today I will show you how you can improve your viewport performance in Unreal Engine 5. So right now you can see I'm getting something 20 FPS to 17 to 20 FPS. And if you want to see this FPS, then you have to just go there and you have to just enable show FPS and then you can see this thing. So the first thing that you can do to improve your viewport FPS, you can disable the unnecessary objects that you don't need or you don't want to do any changes on that thing so suppose i want to do some kind of character animation in this one so what i can do i can just hide this trees and this ground and this everything okay so let's see uh, if i if i just hide those things so i don't need trees i just hide all my grasses and i want to hide those trees also so i will go to this one and i will hide the trees and i really don't need this bus stop also i will hide this one also so now you can see we gained up to 40 fps just hiding those things and uh, it can be more in your case if you are using too much foliage or too much grasses or anything and then what you can do you can enable those things at the end and yeah you can do this thing to improve your fps okay so the next thing that you can do is uh, you can go to your scalability section and you will see some settings like this uh, you can make this thing low so now you can see my fps is 17 to 18 and if i make this thing low so now it's become 40 you can see so this is the another way you can improve your fps uh, so most of the time you have to just uh, decrease your shadow global illumination and reflection because these things will affect the most of the fps if i show you if i go to the high settings and right now you can see my fps are 20 and if i just decrease my shadows you can see it's gained to 30 and if i just decrease the global illumination also 40 and reflections also almost 40 to 45 okay so the most of the performance uh, was taken by this three shadows global illumination and reflection so you have to just change the settings and you can mm, get some performance so if you're not seeing this option scalability option you have to just go to the settings you have to go to the engine scalability setting and you can get this option there also so the next thing that you can do is you can see there is a screen percentage option but you can't change the screen percentage so if you don't know about the screen percentage uh, it works like a dlss if you know dlss how dlss work so what it does it just uh upscale or downscale your image uh, to give you the maximum performance so it works like a dlss so in unreal engine 5 lumen use tsr so unreal engine 5 has their own dlss technology which is known by tsr temporal super resolution something like that so it works like dlss what it does it will uh, make your 1080p resolution downscale to 720p or lower than that and then it upscale your image to native 1080p so by doing this it will give you maximum performance and that's how unreal engine 5 uh, gives you the real-time rendering or you can say interaction real time that's that's the thing in dlss we have performance we have ultra we have medium we have high so if you see this thing there we have also the same option performance balance quality but right now this is grayed out you can't change this thing from there so what you can do you have to just go to the three sections and there is a screen percentage option you have to just click on the custom override and there is an option of screen percentage right now it is 90 so it means it is just downscaling my viewport 10 percent you can increase this number also but uh, it will just decrease your fps we have to decrease this number so you can use suppose so if i show you the fps right now it is 34 and if i go to the screen percentage and if i decrease this thing to 65 so right now you can see we gain 10 fps 40 from 32 to 40 something like that so like this you can decrease your screen resolution and it will upscale your image and it will give you give you more performance and now if i go to my high settings also you can see we are getting like 22 fps and i can decrease this thing more also don't go too much like if i go to 40 then you can see we are getting 25 fps and this is smooth right now okay and if you go too much low on that value then what will happen it will create pixelation because it is downscaling the image too much so make sure that you use 50 to 40 something like that i will make this thing 65 so right now you can see it is giving me kind of good performance and quality also and the next thing that you can do is um if you are using any kind of post process volume so you can see there is a post process volume i add and if you go to the 
settings of the global illumination make sure that you use lumen do not use ray tracing because ray tracing is demanding and it will give you less performance and make sure that you in the reflection settings also you use lumen and yeah that's the thing in lumen reflections also make sure the settings are turned off in the viewport because these settings will impact your performance and just go this one and disable all everything okay so this thing will also help you to gain some performance and it will make your viewport little bit smoother by default it will be disabled you don't have to change anything yeah you have to just make sure that it is in the lumen the next thing that you can do is you can enable nanite in your models so right now you can see uh, if i go to the light mode and there is a nanite visualization option go to the triangles so right now you can see the trees are in the nanite the objects are nanite so if you're getting this type of triangles it means it is using nanite so nanite will give you the maximum performance so you have to see this like you can see my everything is in nanite but you will notice one thing that my that my road and the pillars are not in nanite form you have to select your mesh and you have to go to your browser so right now this is located in this one you have to right click and then you have to click on nanite and enable nanite it will take some time to make it nanite and now you can see it's done and if i go to the nanite section right now drawing us you can see my road is also nanite right now and the same way you can make your landscape also and you can make everything nanite and the next thing that you can do is you can disable the wind effect in your foliage you can see right now the winds it is animated by default so it is giving me some kind of wind effect the trees and the bushes everything i think i think so yeah you can see the bushes are also moving so this took a lot of performance hit in your viewport if you make everything in movement so what you can do you can just go to your material section you have to double click on the material and in the material section most of the time you will see something called wind effect or something like that yeah there we have disable wind branch or you can just disable the wind effect i just disable everything and you can see now it is not moving okay you see and you will get a very performance boost by just by disabling these things because right now it is not cal calculating everything like the wind effect or everything so it will give you the maximum performance and in this one also we have getting some wind effect so you can disable everything but right now i need this wind effect so i will just leave this thing like that but in your case you can just disable this thing if it is too much if you are getting too much low fps you can disable this thing and uh, you will gain a uh, like 50 percent or like double fps something like that and if you want to know how to optimize your scene mode then you can watch this tutorial